let me show you how to save your work in Orange. But before I do this, I will build a workflow and demonstrate a few more tricks. I will use the same socioeconomic data as my previous video on Orange workflows, but this time I will add the instances of the datasets widget without using the toolbox. Instead, I can right click on Canvas, type data, get datasets on the top and press return. Opening the widget, I see that the HDI dataset is already loaded. Notice the green dot next to its name. Orange widgets remember my previous choices and actions. Like in my previous video, I will check the data in the scatter plot to display the relationship between life expectancy and years of schooling. Where is, say, my country, Slovenia? I could add the point labels, but then this is too messy. Let me switch this off for a while. I could easily, though, find any country in the data table where I will sort the countries by name and here it is. Notice the data table also outputs data instances corresponding to rows I select in this widget. Let me check if this is so by connecting another instance of the data table. We already know how to drag a communication line from the data table and choose the widget on the receiving end. Here it is. Everything is fine. Slovenia is the only country displayed in the data table 1. I can go back and select, say, Spain as well by pressing on the command modifier key before clicking. Great! I now have Slovenia and Spain on the output. Fine! I do not need data table 1 in my workflow. I can select it and press delete or backspace to remove this widget. My goal is to highlight the chosen countries in the data table in the scatter plot. I will connect the output of the data table to the scatter plot. Notice that Orange knows that scatter plot already has data on its input and plugs the new connection into a data subset channel of the scatter plot. The scatter plot now has two highlighted points in the upper right quadrant. We can now show the country labels but display them only for an input data subset. Here they are, Slovenia and Spain, where the lifespan is about the same, but Slovenians spend more time in schools. We can now change our selections in data table and observe the country's positions in the scatter plot. Singapore is on the right, Romania is up top, and Sierra Leone is below. The countries with the highest income are all in the top quadrant. Now, finally, back to the title of this video. I will save my work by choosing Save from Orange's File menu. Let me save the workflow in the Countries file, which I will place on the desktop. I will now quit Orange and then open the save workflow. Opening the scatter plot, I see that Orange saves the workflow and all the settings and selections in each workflow's widgets. I can also save the graphs in the widgets. Notice the little save image icon on the status line at the bottom of the widget. I will save my graph in a PDF file and, well, here it is. If I want to change the fonts and add some labels, there is another Set Visual Settings icon to do so. Let's zoom out a bit to fully display the Singapore label, save the image again and here it is. Nice and tidy. In this video, we have learned a few more tricks in Orange. For one, widgets like Scatterplot can accept information on different channels. Most of Orange's widgets, like Data Table and Scatterplot, are interactive and their outputs depend on their settings and our selections. And finally, it is always good to save our work. Orange saves the workflows and all the settings. It does not save the process data as is the case with popular spreadsheet programs, including Excel, where the programs save the results 
of the analysis, but not the procedures used to obtain them. In my next video, I will show you a few more visualizations and I will continue to introduce tricks using orange.